This video will explain the concept of web comparison checkpoints and demonstrate how you can use them in your tests. When testing, you may need to compare that two web pages are the same, and TestComplete allows you to perform these verifications quickly and easily by using web comparison checkpoints. These checkpoints allow you to compare a web page against a baseline copy that's stored in your TestComplete project. And if TestComplete finds any discrepancies between the actual pages and the expected page, then those discrepancies will be logged. So today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use these checkpoints in your tests. And in our sample today, I'm going to use this web page. So let's go ahead and we're going to start out by recording a test that will verify whether or not the data displayed on this web page is correct. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I've already launched Test Complete, and as you can see, I've created a new project and added Internet Explorer to the list of tested applications. This browser, I'm just going to double click on it here, will open the page that I've specified here in the parameters column. So when we launch the browser, it's going to automatically go out to this particular web page. So now I'm going to record the test that will perform some actions against the test page and verify whether the data displayed on the page is correct. So let's go ahead and click the record keyword test button. So test complete is now in recording mode and I'm going to have test complete launch my browser by clicking on the run tested app button right here to invoke Internet Explorer. Okay, you can see IE has popped up and it's on my sample page. So now I'm going to perform some actions over the recorded page. So I'm going to type some text into the sample text area here. I'm going to check radio button 2. I'm going to check this box and I will select item 2 here in this list box. And now that I've done that, I want to make sure that the d data displayed on this page is correct. So I can perform this verification by using the web comparison checkpoint. So I'll come over here to the recording toolbar, go on to the checkpoint button, and I'm going to select create web comparison checkpoint. That brings up the web comparison checkpoint dialog. And the first thing that I need to do is select the page whose data I'm going to verify. So I'm just going to drag this finder tool over the sample web page right here. You'll see the red box pops up around it. I'll release the mouse. And now you can see right here in this page object field, Test Complete has captured a reference to my web page. So the next thing I want to do is specify my comparison settings. So to compare all the data on my page, I'm going to use the default compare entire page. In this mode, the checkpoint is going to take the actual contents of this web page and save that off inside of our test complete project for future comparison. Now there are some other modes here. Uh, for example, we could compare only the tag structure of the pages. And if you do that, test complete will only verify the uh, web page elements and will not check tag attributes, attributes values, and elements values and the compare only specified tags mode would allow you to verify just images, input elements, uh, and links. And, and to specify which collection will be used, you could use these options right here. But for right now, I just want to compare the entire page, so I'm going to leave the default, click OK, and now I'm going to close my page down and stop recording. OK, and here's our recorded test. And as you can see, it contains all the actions we just performed. For instance, our first operation here, launches Internet Explorer. This is where we're typing sample text into the text field. Here's where we select a particular checkbox and we select item 2 from the uh, list box there. And then here's our web comparison checkpoint. Now if you want to review exactly what the checkpoint is verifying, you can just right click on the checkpoint and say go to checkpoints data editor. And that will pop up this screen which shows you the contents of the stored page that's going to be used for comparison. And in this screen you could also update the contents of the page, load another page, or change the verification settings. You know, So you could change from comparing the entire page to only the tag structure, for example. So now I want to run the test and verify that the checkpoint is working properly. So I'm going to flip back to my test here, and I'm just going to click this Run Test button. And Test Complete will replay all those actions that we just recorded a moment ago. Okay, so I've fast forwarded a bit 
and you can see that our checkpoint passed. Uh, so Test Complete's got this message in the log file stating that the web comparison checkpoint was successful. But now, what's it going to look like if the data doesn't match, if there's a failure here? So to do that, I'm going to force a failure in my test by changing the data that's being entered into the page so that when the comparison happens, we'll have different data. So to do that, I'm going to change my sample text here from sample text to hello world. And now that I've modified the test, I'm just going to click save here and then run it again. Okay, I've just fast forwarded again, and as you can see, our checkpoint failed by selecting this item right here in the log. You can come down and see exactly what is different between the stored pages and the actual page. This concludes our video on creating web comparison checkpoints. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the email addresses on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy automating your tests with TestComplete.